Hey there, YouTubers. Welcome to the introductory vlog here on the Beer Patrol. I'm Average Joe, and I have no idea what the hell I'm doing right now, but apparently I have a beer tubing channel. My, how the times have changed. So I'm just going to be honest with you. Uh, I had this whole intro uh, spiel set up, and I was going to crack jokes and blah, 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 but I don't want to make this vlog longer than it needs to be, so I'm just going to go straight from the heart, be open and honest with you guys. And uh, we're just going to get into some things I want to talk about in relation to uh, my new channel. Uh, I feel as though a proper introduction is due from me to you guys, the potential viewers, especially if you're unfamiliar with me, which you probably are because you should be. I'm nobody special. And uh, yeah, so without any further ado, let's get into today's vlog. So the introductory vlog, uh, it's a proper introduction from me to you guys. Um, I want to let you guys know a little bit about me and my background information, especially when it comes to beer, uh, a bit about why I selected the name of the channel. Uh, it's kind of different. Um, I also want to talk to you guys about what to expect from my channel in terms of content. Uh, I also want to talk about my rating system, and I also want to shout out some uh, beer tubers out there that I'm friends with uh, and have also inspired me to start this channel. So. We're going to start with the fact that today is April 1st, 2018, which is April Fool's Day. It also happens to be Easter Sunday this year, which the joke's on me because I was like, oh, I'm going to start my channel on, uh, you know, April Fool's Day. It's going to be hilarious, and it's really not. It's actually kind of a pain because there's places to be today, but I'm doing it anyway. Uh, so, yeah, uh, April Fool's Day, it's not an April Fool's Day joke. Uh, my channel might be a joke, but it's going to be a real thing. It's not like an, I'm not going to post a couple videos today and then that's it. It's going to be an actual channel. Um, the name of the channel is The Beer Patrol. And the reason I spelled troll the way I did, as you guys see it, it's T-R-O-L-L, -L, like an internet troll, YouTube troll, uh, is because a lot of my friends in the beer tubing community uh, reference me as being a troll, a lighthearted um, a good-hearted troll where I just basically make fun of my friends, bust their chops, they do so to me, and it's always uh, very entertaining and fun. Um, I am not a, a real YouTube troll. Uh, those are usually um, very mean and racist and prejudiced and a whole bunch of other things. I'm sure I'll actually meet some YouTube trolls on my channel. Looking forward to it. But uh, I just rolled with the whole troll um, moniker uh, when it came to the name of my channel because I thought it worked. It's not really creative or hilarious or anything, but whatever. The Beer Patrol it is. So that's the background on the name of the channel. Background information on me. Uh, my moniker username on here used to be Average Joe 716 because I'm an average person. My name is actually Joe. And 716 is the area code in which I reside in the United States of America, that being the Western New York area and more specifically the Buffalo, New, uh, Buffalo, New York area. Um, behind me, you will see, uh, well, I'm fat and stupid and I'm sure all the trolls will tell me that, but uh, part of a Buffalo Sabres logo behind me on this banner, along with the pretentious um, cans, you know, because you need some kind of background. Uh, but yeah, I, I am uh, in the Buffalo, New York area. And by the way, these pretentious cans, I'm going to rotate them out uh, for beers that I either really like or maybe I like the label art on the can or bottle. Uh, but I had to have some in the background. This room is like yellow, mustard yellow, and, uh, you know, it's just too much yellow for me. <laughs> so I decided to put up a banner of a very terrible NHL hockey team. And it makes sense because I'm pretty sure this channel is going to be terrible. So match made in heaven. But anyway... So yeah, uh, I reside in uh, Buffalo, New York, like I said, and I've been drinking craft beer since 2009, and I've drank thousands of different beers, like so many of you guys out there, and I love it. I love trying new beers. I like talking with other like-minded individuals, and uh, so many people in the beer tubing community are awesome people, and I've come to know uh, personally in, in real life outside of YouTube, and I've hung out with uh, many of them, and it's an awesome community. I love it. And uh, I decided to finally jump into the fray. Uh, my friends know that I've been talking about starting a channel for almost six years now, back to 2012, middle of 2012. Uh, it never came to fruition, mostly because I was just never committed. We'll just say that. Uh, I'm finally committed uh, to, you know, putting out two or three videos a week. And I just, you know, before that, I just wasn't fully uh, into committing to a YouTube channel. I know, you know, anybody can start a YouTube channel and whether you post a video once every five years or once every five hours, you know, the choice is yours. But for me, when I do something, especially when I uh, jump into a hobby uh, feet first, I want to make sure that 
at the very least, um, I'm very consistent in what I'm doing. Consistently putting out terrible content is probably going to be what I'm doing, but it's going to be consistent and I'm going to try uh, to upload stuff on a regular uh, basis. So uh, that's why I finally started my channel. And yeah, uh, not much more to say about myself other than I really like beer. Oh my God. All right. So anyway, I have a cell phone over here with uh, some notes because I'm A, old and B, I can't remember a lot of stuff. So I got to make sure that what I'm talking about, I don't start rambling and going off the script because uh, then this video is going to be like 30 minutes long. I'd imagine it to be like 20 to 25. So I will say for you, those of you who uh, up to this point uh, are with me still, I will put timestamps in the description box uh, for each segment so you don't have to watch the entire thing because you know, your time is precious and I get it. Uh, 20, 25 minutes on a single video is a lot, but hopefully you watch the whole thing. But if not, I totally get it. Anyway, what to expect from my channel? Uh, number one, beer reviews. That's what I like doing. Uh, that's like what I like watching. So the vast majority of the content on my channel will be beer reviews. But I'm also going to sprinkle in different segments within beer reviews. I'm, go I'm going to do a uh, bi-weekly or maybe weekly, I haven't decided yet, uh, Viewer's Choice Cellar Reserve Sunday where I take uh, three beers out of my cellar uh, each Sunday or every other Sunday, like I said, I haven't decided, and let you guys, the viewers, uh, vote on what beer I review the following Sunday and just so on and so forth. I have a lot of beers in the cellar. My cellar is nothing special. It's a bunch of boxes that are uh, you know away from light, cool, dry, but it's not like a, it's, it's special. It's just a bunch of boxes, but I have a lot of beer and I need to get into them at some point. So I figured that's a perfect opportunity to do so. Um, in addition to that, I'm going to do a Western New York Wednesday. And what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to, uh, every other Wednesday, it's going to be a bi-weekly segment where I review a beer from a local brewery here in the Western New York area. Maybe a little bit of a history on the brewery, maybe a bit of history on the beer, whatever the case may be. A little bit more extensive than a regular beer review, but you know, so many beer tubers like to pimp their local beers and local breweries, so to speak. And I'll, I'll, I mean, I want to do that too. So, you know, also during the course of this vlog, I'm going to misspeak and, uh, you know, mess up here and there. I'm not going to edit any of this uh, aside from the beginning and the end because, you know, I just, like I said, I want to be honest and open with you guys. I, I'm not going to jump cut and all this stuff. So I might misspeak quite a bit because I have a tendency to do so. And if I do so, I apologize. But also that's that's how I roll. So anyway, what else? I'm going to try to do, a, you know, a live show each week like other beer tubers. I'm going to try to do some duo and trio beer reviews where uh, me and a couple other beer tubers will review the same beer on a live show and make a whole uh, thing out of it. I'm hoping to do some of that because it's very enjoyable. Uh, obviously, uh, beer mails and beer halls. I like doing beer mails. Uh, I go on little mini beer uh, beercations and bring back beer and stuff. So uh, you'll see those types of videos. You'll also see um, on location videos at breweries or uh, bottle shops or hanging out with other beer tubers or festivals, whatever the case may be. That'll be something I'll be doing. Uh, I also want to do blind slash mystery beer reviews. Uh, shout out to a good friend of mine and a fellow beer tuber, Matt, over at Massive Beer Reviews. He does the whole Mystery Beer Monday series uh, where people send him or give him beers wrapped up. Uh, he doesn't know what the beers are. He reviews them. So it's almost like a 100% blind review. Uh, the only caveat there being that sometimes Matt knows what area you're from or he knows the style of the bottle. So it's not 100% blind, but it's as close as you can get, I think, without uh, you know truly doing it blind. So I really like that. Hopefully I can make that happen on my channel. Um, as far as the first beer review you will see, you will see the uh, beer review from um, Anchor Brewing Company, their Anchor Porter. The reason for that is that is the first craft beer that I ever tasted that I liked, and it kind of opened my eyes to what craft beer could be back in 2009, and uh, I want to give it a proper review. I haven't had it since early 2013, so about five years. be cool to revisit it and uh, give it a proper review and see if it holds up. Um, the second beer review I'll be doing is uh, Ithaca Beer Company's Ithaca, uh, Ithaca Beer Company's Flower Power, uh, their IPA. Uh, that is the first IPA I could tolerate. Not like, just tolerate. Uh, I didn't really care for IPAs until about 2012 or 13. It took me a good three plus years to really get into them. So that was the first beer that said, oh my God, this actually, I'm, I, I could do this. Like, this is all right. So we'll see how that beer is drinking now. I've had it many times over the past four or five years and it I don't know if there's batch variation or what, but it changes quite a bit, along with my palate, I'd, I'd imagine, as well. Uh, and this is the first time I'm going to be reviewing it in the can, so I look forward to that. Our rating system, I'm not going to sit here and um, you know do a long spiel about ratings, but uh, I'm going to use a simple 0 to 5 rating system like Untapped and like so many uh, older beer tubers did. I don't want to do the 100-point scale. I don't want to do, you know, in conjunction with letter grades or whatever. Um, I 
am familiar with the five point uh, uh, system because of Untapped, and I use Untapped all the time. And it's very simplistic to the point, and you guys pretty much should know how I feel when I give that rating. But you should probably, you should already know by the time I give that rating. So many beer tubers now are not rating beers, and I get that because you should know uh, if they're doing a good job as a beer reviewer, whether or not they like it, how much they like it, or how much they dislike it. Um, so it's kind of an arbitrary number for some. For me, I enjoy rating. I'm going to continue to rate, and, and that's what I'm going to use, 0 to 5. Um, simply put, anything under a 2.5, I would... Uh, not buy again, not drink again, and pretty much anything uh, from uh, 275, 3325, I wouldn't buy again, but I would drink again in situations. 3.5, 3.75, uh, and 4.0, uh, I probably uh, buy those again, and I like them. They're good. They're very good beers. Uh, 4.25 uh, to 4.5, they're excellent beers, exceptional beers, amazing. 4.75 is kind of in between that exceptional and world-class rating where I don't want to give the world-class and it's and it's better than exceptional if that's a thing. Um, and then 5 out of 5 is clearly, you know, world-class, outstanding. Uh, you probably won't see, honestly, a lot of 2.5 or lesses and you probably won't see a ton of 5 out of 5s. Um, like so many people out there, you'll you'll see a lot of 3.5s to probably 4.7s. Uh, but most of the time, you should have a good understanding of how I think about a beer, what I think about a beer, uh, by the time I give my rating. Because, you know, my visceral reaction will be, you know, probably pure joy or hatred or somewhere in between. Um, so, yeah, that's my rating system. Uh, social media. You'll be able to find me on social media um, in four different places. I've decided that I'm not going to go crazy with social media, but... Obviously, here on YouTube, it's going to be called The Beer Patrol. On Twitter, uh, by the time you guys see this, it'll be The Beer Patrol on Twitter as well. It might be Average Joe 716 as like the actual account name of The Beer Patrol will be named that. Uh, Instagram, I haven't started Instagram yet, but again, as when you see this, The Beer Patrol will be on Instagram. And then Untapped is the only social media platform that I won't be using The Beer Patrol. I'm going to keep it at Average Joe 716, mostly because... So many of my non-beer tubing friends, my local friends, uh, I'm friends with them on there, and I don't want to just change my name out of the blue and whatnot. So it's going to be the Beer Patrol on YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, and on tap, it's going to be Average Joe 716. So if you want to uh, befriend me on any of those platforms or follow me or whatever, you have the information. Um, and last but not least, shout-outs. We're going to give some shout-outs. First, I'm going to take a drink of a lukewarm ewer. Yeah, our buddy, our buddy, and I mean, my friends here on you, uh, on Beer Tube on YouTube, our buddy Ewart, also known as Teku Murray. Yeah, he has a tendency to drink water quite a bit on, during our live hangouts, and uh, you know, I figured I'd do the same during this uh, vlog because, shout out to Ewart. Yeah. All right. Anyway, shout outs. So, I actually have quite a few shout outs here, so I'm not gonna make this super long and personalized or anything. Um, the I, no specific order outside of region. I went UK, Canada, US, just because it's easier for me to rem remember when I when I was writing them down here uh, in, in the notes, and that's what we're gonna use. So, without any further ado, the shout outs go like this. In the UK, shouting out Terry K over at Beer Goggles Reviews, David Dowling of the Urban Viking Ale Review, uh, Craig from Kent Beer Reviews, or Kent from Craig Beer Reviews, depending upon who you want to listen to and who you believe. Am I right, Craig? Uh, also, Peter, a.k.a. The Clueless Drinker, over at The Clueless Drinker. That's his channel. Peter's channel is The Clueless Drinker. Uh, he is pretty clueless, and he drinks, right? Peter, he also writes jokes for certain individuals. Uh, anyway, shout-out to Peter. Rob from Hobzine. Uh, Harry over at Blue Nose Beer Reviews. Dean over at Dean's Beer Reviews. Jake of Jake O Beer. And last but not least, over in the UK, James from Rampant Lion Beer Reviews. Heading back over the pond here to North America, we're going to do Canada. And we're going to start with the former king of beer tube. It's a joke. He was never a king of anything. Uh, it's Lee Russell of the now defunct Hoagly Beer Reviews. His channel is now the They Must Be Destroyed on Site movie podcast along with Hoagly Whiskey Reviews. Or I guess Hoagly Spirit Reviews. So shout out to Lee. Also Nick over at Maxwell Star Beer Reviews. I guess you could also call them Mark Star Beer Reviews. Am I right, Nick? I don't... I think one person calls you that. And we know who it is. Uh, Don over at Don Rig 13 Beer Reviews. Guy formerly... Uh, what was he? 
Beer Guy Reviews. Yeah, it used to be Beer Guy, or a lot of people would say Beer Guy Reviews. It was Beer Guy Reviews. Uh, he is now drinking in Canada. We also have Chad, a.k.a. the Albino Rhino, over at the Albino Rhino Beer Review. We have Jamie of Basement Beer Reviews. We have Chris, formerly of In the Basement. Him and Jamie had a back and forth of whose basement was better. So Chris ended up just going and moving to an apartment, and he's now on the 10th, and his elevator is terrible. Uh, we also have the aforementioned Ewart, a.k.a. Teku Murray of the now-defunct Strange Bruisings. But I hear it's coming back. Let's hope so. We also have Dale Moore of Brew By Me Beer Reviews, Brad of Brews Under Review, Dan over at the at uh, Booze Review CA, and Carrie, aka Redbeard of, I don't know what the hell his channel name is, I think it's just Redbeard. Like, it's just Redbeard, he does a daily drink vlog, he does gaming, but it's not like Redbeard's uh, beer reviews, it's just Redbeard. So, shout out to him. Last one, not least in Canada, a man who does not have a channel, like me, about, I don't know, two hours ago, and that is Greg Bylog, one of the most perverted individuals I've ever had the pleasure of running into, and the next most perverted individual, or maybe tied with Greg, will be the first guy that I shout out in the U.S., and that is Paul over at PA Brew News. Shout out to Paul. He is also a uh, perverted, sick man, but he's a good guy. Um, we also have Rod over at Rod J Beer Ventures. We have DJ of DJ's Brew Tube. We have the aforementioned Matt over at Massive Beer Reviews. Johnny of the now defunct Crafty Beer Reviews. He calls his channel Sunny Disposition, but he hasn't posted in a long time. Ethan over at Ethan's Beer Reviews, baby. Duff the rolls on the fan, Ethan Flair. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, the one of the OGs along with uh, Lee. Lee was one of the first two beer reviewers uh, or beer tubers that I ever uh, watched anything from, along with this man, Jody over at Jody Beer Reviews. He also has the Share a Beer Weekly Live Show. And one of his co-hosts, or someone who's been doing it with him for a long time, is Mark Sinderson of the now defunct slash deleted video beer reviews because uh, YouTube just one day was like, you know what? Gone, delete. Mark has no idea why, but you know, that's YouTube in a nutshell. Also, shout out to Rich over at Rich's World Beer Tube. Or Beer Tube. <laughs> Rich's World Beer Tour. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I knew it was World Beer Tour, but I said World Beer Tube whatever. Ryan Rashawn over at the San Diego Beer Vlog. Drunken One known as Drunken One? <laughs> I, I, he does homebrewing and gardening, but he doesn't, again, he does not like Drunken One's beer reviews or homebrewing or anything. It's just Drunken One. Uh, Eric, uh, aka Eric Alliance fan over on his channel. Again, he's another one of those guys, just Eric Alliance fan. I don't really think he's Eric Alliance fan beer reviews. Uh, so it's just Eric Alliance fan. Shout out to him. And then uh, last but not least, another man without a channel but a good friend of mine and that is todd wren shout out to you good sir so shout out to all the aforementioned uh beer tubers and friends alike i uh, appreciate you guys uh posting hours and hours of entertainment that i've enjoyed over the years and most of you have become my friend uh over the past five or six years that i've actually you know been interacting with you guys on beer tube uh it's been a great time i've thoroughly enjoyed it and now i can actually call myself a beer tuber for the first time ever which is pretty sweet um i pretty much does it for the vlog itself uh i guess i will you know end it with the next video you will see from me will be the beer review of anchor porter from anchor brewing company uh followed by another vlog because uh rajay who i mentioned earlier tagged me in a video in which um he had to list his top five favorite beer styles and then his favorite beer within each style he tagged me. He actually kind of challenged me. He was like, I don't know. Someone's going to have a uh, new channel soon. So blah, blah, blah. You can do it. And I'm going to do it. And I appreciate the shout out, Rod. I believe the original guy to shout him out was Beautiful uh, Beer Reviews. I'm not familiar with his channel. I'll have to check him out. Uh, so I appreciate the challenge or the tag, Rod. I will try to conquer this in due time. Uh, so those will be the next two videos to keep an eye out on. Uh, the only other ve uh, video aside... Uh, the only other video I should say before this one is the trailer video, which is like a 30-second video just breaking down um, the, I guess, in the most simplistic form of what my channel is all about. So not really uh, something you have to check out. It's just going to be like the video for uh, the main page of my channel. So if you've made it this far, thank you. Thank you very much. I uh, appreciate the support. appreciate you stopping by and checking out the first ever vlog here on the Beer Patrol. 
Um, even if you didn't make it all this way, even if you just watched a couple minutes, I appreciate it. Again, I'll put timestamps in the description box so you can just click around if you really don't have time. Um, but yeah, I, I appreciate all the support. Uh, a lot of you guys have been egging me on for years to start a channel. Here we go. Hopefully it's as terrible as you all expect it to be because it's going to be pretty shit-tastic. Right? Can't wait to fuck it all up. So thanks again for stopping by. And until the next one, cheers. One last swig of your... Tasting mighty fine. Cheers.